Okay, so uh, price and engagement. Um, do you know? Have I found that people engage more with my courses as the price has gone up over the years? Um, generally, no. <laughs> um, well, be, because uh, the the difference between between a twenty five dollar course and one hundred fifty dollar course isn't big enough to make make that difference. Okay, uh, twenty five versus um, let's say five hundred will make a real difference. And it's and it's uh, because and it's not that people. It's and it's not even that's it might not it might even be two different groups of people buying in, right? Or two different at least mindsets, just like what you're thinking about. The twenty five dollar the person buying the twenty five dollar thing is like ah. I'm going to, I'm going to buy it. Some people, not, not everybody, but, but a lot of them will buy it. with like, yeah, I'll just kind of like keep it in case I need it. Whereas a $500 thing is like, well, yeah, I'm obviously going to keep in, in case I need it, but I also um, am, you know, I just spent this money and, and uh, I'm going to take it a, a little bit more seriously. What makes the most difference, however, okay, actually a couple things a couple things to make the most difference. If there is a, if there is a, uh, if, if there are live sessions versus, versus only evergreen slash um, all recorded. Okay. If there are live sessions, even the $25 people will show up um, because they're live sessions, you know, it, it, versus like if you buy a series of recordings and it's all recorded and it doesn't expire, then so and that's, and that's the thing. Is there an expiration date? Um, now, if someone paid for something, they typically expect that it'll last forever, but there may be some kind of bonus that has an expiration date um, or, a, or, or a refund by date, right? So this is where like more expensive programs will usually, like I, I, used, to, I used to charge $2,000, $2,000 for, for my courses. This is in the early, early days, 2009, 2010. I was charging $2,000 for the courses that I'm now charging $150 for, okay? Because I was learning from the big boys and they're all you know, charging that amount. So I thought I had to charge that amount too. So I, and you all should be grateful now. I'm only charging only $150. But, but because I was charging 2000, I felt like I needed to have, just like the big boys, have a refund. Oh, refund by 60 days or 45 days or, or 30 days or whatever. And so with the, with the refund date, um, people uh, will say, well, I got I to gotta at least look into it before the refund date so I know whether to keep it, especially if some, something is expensive at like $2,000. If something is $500, they, they, you know, people don't, don't take it as seriously as a $2,000 one in terms of the refund date. But um, here's the thing. What, what, <laughs> here's what ma really makes the most difference. Really what makes the most difference is whether the topic has urgency for that person. Like if that person goes, I'm really into this topic right now and I really want some answers and I really want to learn, then they're gonna engage whether it's $25 or $5 or 500 or $5,000, all right? And then also, okay, I'll, I'll add one more. What also makes the most difference is, uh, what also can make, make a difference is if, if there's personal contact with that person um, by you or by a, by a team member, you know, kind of like e.g. concierge service, um, then the person goes, well, I guess this person is reaching out to me. I, I better respond. So, so you know, then, then they're, they're, it, the onboarding, you know, if onboarding um, is either concierge, right, concierge or fun, then there's more likely to be more engagement as well. So I hope that helps. Uh, and please let me know if you have any other questions on this. So what I mean by concierge is just like, you know, more uh, higher, higher level service, like reaching out to someone and say, hi, you know, Cindy, just wanted to, to check in. I saw you bought the course and um, please write me back. Have you, have you taken the first step yet to, to doing this? And if not, any, anything I can help you with, that kind of, uh, you know, more personalized service is what I mean. Yeah, so hope that helps.